Hello friends, uh, this is Prince William. Uh, today I'm going to talk about inter and intra VLAN. This is uh, the video for sixth. Uh, sorry, this is the video for seventh experiment of networking lab. So in this, for intra VLAN, I have taken here six end systems. So I have named them also. Two of them are faculties, two of them are students, and two of them are guests. Each uh, each PCs are uh, con uh, connected in in a uh, in their own VLAN. For example, each faculties are connected with VLAN 10. Each students are assigned with VLAN 20, and each guests are assigned with VLAN 30. So, in main difference between inter and intra VLAN is that in inter VLAN, you can you can ping two systems assigned with same VLAN, but you cannot uh, ping two systems which are assigned to different VLAN. So that will the ping will not be successful. So, if I want to show you, so I want to show you now the. Uh, systems which are assigned to the uh, the types of VLAN so you have to type show VLAN so here you can see uh, VLAN 10 is assigned to faculty VLAN 20 is assigned to guest uh, student and VLAN 30 is assigned to guests so according to the VLAN you have to assign the IP address of each systems and also uh, you have to uh, make sure there is a router in between them. Router plays a part when we, ha we have to uh, do intra VLAN. So routers are used to do intra VLAN because in intra VLAN we can uh, we can connect systems which are assigned to different VLANs. So in second one, this one I have made this is the intra vlan topology so in this you can see that the faculty to faculty systems are uh, pinged successfully and also faculty to student are also successful that means uh, systems assigned to vlan 10 can also connect to systems assigned with vlan 20 or systems assigned with vlan 30 so this is intra VLAN. This is actually done uh, by the use of a router. So I want to show you what are the codes. So here are the commands. Actually, you have to we have to configure switch for the inter and intra VLAN. So just we have to go to global configuration mode and type VLAN 10, VLAN 20, and VLAN 30. How much VLANs we want, and just exit from that configuration and just type interface and the port numbers that is po uh, fast ethernet 0 by 0 1 by 0 2 by 0 each fast ethernet is is assigned uh, to the vlan i'll show you Here, here you can see that faculty of uh, VLAN 10 that is faculty uh, a fast Ethernet 2 by 1 is assigned to VLAN 20 VLAN 10 fast Ethernet 1 by 1 is assigned to VLAN 20 and fast Ethernet 0 by 1 is assigned to VLAN 30 so likewise you can assign uh, ports to the uh, each VLANs and uh, in PI, I'm using packet tracer, so it has default VLAN that is VLAN 1. So, likewise, you have to configure every switch. And for router configuration, you have to uh, there's uh, uh, this, this is uh, this command is uh, other than the uh, one we used to do normally. So, in this interface space the port number dot the vlan vlan number that we have to type 
then encapsulation dot one q then vlan number then we have to assign the ip address and subnet mask so how much vlan we are using so i'm using here three vlans 10 20 and 30 so that much we have i have to configure uh, in the router configuration so as i showed you in inter vlan we can uh, ping systems assigned with same vlan or with different vlan also so here you can see each pc is connected to uh, each uh, uh, every other pcs but in intra inter vlan we can't connect pcs because they are assigned to different vlans but we can uh, connect pcs which are assigned to the same vlan in this way uh, inter and inter vlan is the thank you for watching my video